while we are still having fun with our canvas and at the same time creating engaging content for our students. In today's session, I will be showing you how to change your plain image into a circular image, add a border to your image, change the color of the borders, and also make it look like a real frame by adding some padding. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am in my canvas page. The first thing I want to do is to go ahead and insert a picture. I'm going to use Unsplash and I'm going to type in puppies and I'm going to see what comes up. And I'm going to use this picture. This kind of reminds me of both my boys when they were young and when they used to love mommy. So as you can see, the picture is really big. I'm going to click on the picture until I have those blue squares and the border. And I'm going to use that to resize my picture. I'm going to drag it until I am happy with the size. That I think I like that size. Once I am happy with the picture, I'm going to go into the HTML by toggling and clicking all the way to the right hand side. Now I'm going to zoom in so I can show you. I think that's good enough. You will have to paste your code in between the image and the source. So I'm going to click right here in between the image and the source. So as you can see, this is my image and source. I'm going to click in between, give myself a space and paste the code. By now, you should know what the code means. I am telling HTML that I'm styling it. The style is the border and the next one is how wide I want my border and then is what kind of border do you want and what color. Once this is done, I'm going to go back and here I have a double border. Now let's go back into the HTML and change the style to dashed and I'm going to change the color to red and I'm going to change the pixels to 10 pixels so you can see. I'm going to change it to green and there you have a dashed green border. Now, as I promised, I'm, the next step I want to show you is how you can add a padding to this picture. So let's go back here. 10 pixels is too much for me. So I'm going to say 5 pixels. And I am going to say D-O-U-B-L-E double. And I want to have a black border. I'm going to change it to black. I always cross check if it changed. Yes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some padding to my picture. And by now, you know, to add padding, all you have to do is to click right after. So let me zoom in. So you're going to click right here and you're going to add P A D D I N G padding. How big of a padding do you want? I want the padding to be uh, five pixels and Oops, this has to be a colon and this has to be a semicolon. I'm going to go ahead and there you can see I added a little bit of padding. Now, as you can see, the background is white. I can go ahead and change the background as well. So in the previous one, there was no padding. So let me delete this padding. And if you look, the picture is very close to the bottom. There is no padding in between. Now I'm going to go back and plug in the padding. You know what, just to show you, I'm gonna plug in 10 pixels. And let's go ahead, check the code, yes. And there you go. Now, the picture it has a padding around the border. Now, I don't want the border to be, I don't want the padding to be white. I wanna add some color to it. So let's go ahead and add some color. By now, if you've been following my videos, you know if you wanna add a background color, what do you do? You will click after the semicolon, you will say back ground colon and let's pick light blue the color is l i g h t b l u e once you're done semicolon let's go back and check there you go now i have a light blue border or padding along with the border to my picture now let's go back and let's just say you want this to be light green if you know the name of your color, you can just go ahead and type that in. Did you enjoy the video so far? If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I will be making many more fun with canvas videos just for you. Sometimes HTML does pick it up. Sometimes it does not. So there you go. That's light green. What about light 
yellow. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Oh, there you go. That's light yellow. So we've seen how to add a border. We've seen how to add uh, a padding to the picture. We've seen how to change the color of the borders as well. Now let's go ahead and see how can I change this picture into a circular picture. And again, if you've been following my previous videos, you know that, you know what, let me zoom in just a little bit so I can show you. Yep, that's perfect. So I can show you. So every time you want to have a circle, you will create a radius inside the HTML code. So I'm going to say border radius. Did I spell that right? Yeah, border radius. And instead of giving pixels, you know what? Let me show you. Let me just give pixels first. I want the radius to be 20 pixels and then close it with semicolon. Now let's go ahead and see. As you can see, it is not a complete circle. I do have the circular or rounded corners. Now I can increase that and where is it? Instead of 20 pixels, I can change it to 50 pixels and see how it looks. There you go. But now if I want a complete circle, this is what you do. You will go back to your HTML coding. Instead of 50 pixels, make sure you put 50 percentage. It's as simple as that. And now let's go back. Boom, there you go. And if you want to go ahead and make it more circular, I'm just trying this one. I've not seen how this looks. So there you go. And let's just say, let me minimize it. And let's just say you want to move it to the center. All you have to do is to, where is it? Click on the alignments right here and then make sure you align it to the center or go back, click on your alignments and make sure you align it to the left or just go back and align it to wherever it was. It's as simple as that. So again, let's go back to the coding really quick. I'm going to go ahead and take off this paragraph styling so I can explain the code. So here is my image. You have to go ahead, plug in your code in between the image and the source, and you will say you're styling it. You're adding a border of five pixels. If you know, if you watch my previous videos, you should know exactly what this means by now. And then your style of your border is double. Remember, you can have dash, you can have dotted, you can have groove, you can have solid, and then you can change the colors. Oops, you can change the colors right here. If you know the hexa code, all you have to do is go ahead to coolers.co, explore the trending palettes, pick any code that you want. I'm gonna pick a neutral color here. I'm gonna pick this color. And once you pick the color, you will go back. And instead of the color, you will paste the code. But remember, when you paste the code, you have to paste or you have to type in the hashtag. And the next one is the padding. If you want the space in between the border and the picture, you will add in padding. The more space you want, the higher the padding pixels is going to be. You want to color the background, you will say background, and you will give the color whatever color you want. Again, if it's a hexa code, go ahead, plug in a hash code, hashtag. And then if you want a circular, picture, all you have to do is type in border radius. So the larger the radius, the circular your picture is going to be. And now let's go ahead and take a look. I think we changed the border to whatever the color was. So there you go. How cute is that picture? Let me minimize it. How cute is that picture? So you can have a square, you can have a circle, you can have borders, you can have padding, and you can have different colors. Stay tuned for the next video where I will be showing you how to create this announcement box inside your canvas page where the announcement box could be aligned to the left, to the right, you can change the colors and the text could be either scrolling text or static. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you learn how to change or how to transform your images to circular images, add a border, add a padding, and make your canvas pages fun and creative. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators are wanting to learn more just because they want to make their classes fun and engaging. I will leave a link in the description box below for the entire Canvas playlist I have created. Don't forget to check it out. I will also leave a link for Microsoft Teams and technology. Do check that out as well. And do not forget to comment in the comment section below. Do you think you will be using these circular images in your Canvas pages? Let me know. 
Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you again in my next Canvas video.